What is going on, everybody? This is your boy, Man Up. I'm coming at you with another video. As you can see on your screen here, Southwest Airlines, the captain forced to lend his shirt to passenger with a blue top. If you don't understand what that means, she had a shirt that was revealing almost everything. <laughs> now, I did watch the mini video and the captain came correct about it. He wasn't talking noise. He wasn't doing nothing crazy. It seemed to be the, I don't know if she was a stewardess or a co-pilot or what, but gave her a shirt to wear. He was nice and cool about it. He was like, hey, I want to get you there. And I know you want to get there. Let's just go ahead and do this. No, he came correct. He wasn't rude, disrespectful, nothing. You know, I, I, it was amazing. I'm going to leave a link to this video so you can see it for yourself. Now, I know it says that she was kicked off, but, but she really, she was able to get back on to the plane and go on to her destination. I think it was. She was going to Chicago, I think it was. Oh, I forgot where it was. But or was she was coming from Chicago. I, I forget. But anyway, uh, she she was wearing a top that was showing everything, basically. Only thing that you couldn't really see was her nipples. <laughs> but oh, trust me, you can put, see that too through that through the shirt. <laughs> you finna see the picture in a minute. I just want to. Uh, give you some time to read all of this, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm pretty sure it was other passengers that were complaining. I'm not 100% sure, but she was, she was a little upset. Don't get me wrong, and I can understand where she's coming from. Then I also understand where the captain is coming from. Because they, they they do have rules. You know, you can't be on these planes looking a certain way, knowing that people fly with kids. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want to... How can I say this? You don't want to have a wardrobe malfunction. I'll put it like that. <laughs> because... As you can see right here on this picture, to the left, she could have easily had a wardrobe malfunction. Now you can see on the right, she put on a shirt. I don't know if the captain gave her a shirt or what, but he offered her a shirt. I'll put it like that. And like I said, I will leave a link to this, uh, to this uh, uh, article so you can watch the video yourself. And you can see the picture on the right. She got the shirt on and... She's on the plane. But the one on the left, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. You can see she could have easily had a wardrobe malfunction. She could have easily had a wardrobe malfunction. And, you know, a lot of these places have these rules, you know, cover up. Just like that, like I think it was two years ago, or was it last year or something like that? Well, these schools now have a dress code po uh, policy for the parents. They already had one for the kids for a long time. Now they got one for the parents. <laughs> and these airlines been had this had this rule for years. So I'll put it like this here. I'm going to zoom in this picture again. If you could look at that top she has on right there, she could have easily had a wardrobe malfunction, I guess you could say, and be showing everything. All right. I think I got it back right. <laughs> and the pilot was, was very cool, like I said. Now, the lady was upset, but she wasn't really going off or nothing like that. And so the thing is this. 
You know, I put it like this. She should know not to wear nothing like that. But then also, too, the pilot just doing his job. So what do y'all think the outcome of this should have been? Should he just let her on or should she he have did what he did and offer her a shirt to wear? Because he gave her a shirt to wear. As you can see what she has on. Y'all have a dress code for customers who buy, who pay to get on a plane. It, it's that co consistent policy of women, excuse me, it's that consistent policing of women's bodies for me. I see, like I said, I see where she's coming from, but you got to look at it like this. You know, you got crazy perverts on these planes, and especially you flying with with COVID-19 going around, a.k.a. coronavirus, excuse me. You know, <laughs> you know this is not good. You could, what I'm trying to say is there's not going to be as many people flying, and all it takes is for one pervert, I guess you could say, to look her way and try to make his move, his or her move. All I'm saying is, what I'm trying to say is, just protect yourself. You know what's going on in the world, just protect yourself. And even when you buy tickets, because I have bought tickets going on flights and stuff before, it has this on that dress codes and all that stuff. As you can see, even with her dress, got this split going up the side right there. They could have said no to that as well. But they mainly said no because of her shirt, her top. I'll put it like that. Because that's not even a shirt. That's a top. <laughs> that's a bra. <laughs> but, like I said, y'all leave me your opinion. What do y'all think could have happened? And as you can see right there, that I'm not going to play it. But there's the video right there. Of uh, because she has some, she has some choice words. Like I say, she's not really going off or anything, but her some of the words that she was saying, I'm not gonna let play. I'm gonna just leave a link to it so you can watch it yourself. The Southwest Air employee stopped looking for his policy and caught the ca captain coming out of the bathroom and asked him to intervene. He literally comes out saying that they're hating on me. <laughs> so like I said the, as you can see right there the, she even saying the captain was cool he literally comes out saying that they are hating on me so he is saying that his employees is hating on her <laughs> that's basically what she said they hate on you because you're looking good is that right <laughs> if the if they're like they, he has these rules, you have to cover up. Do you have it? Do you have something? Do you have a shirt, or do you want me to give you one of mine? He was, he, like I said, he didn't have a. He wasn't using strong tones or words or nothing. He came out of correct, which was the right thing to do. So with that being said, like I said, I am going to leave a link to this video. In the description box, y'all go check it out yourself. Watch that video. Leave me some comments. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Do you think that it should have been overlooked or did they do the right thing? So, with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this video. This is your boy, Man Up. I'm chunking the deuce. I'll holler at everybody.